I'm going to take off now.
There's a few over here I totally missed. I totally missed. Let's see if I can find it. I totally missed that. And I totally missed that cabin right there. And there's something else down here. I totally missed that. So I got, I'm going to just walk over there.
Oh, now it comes open. A big uh, inline six um, gas motor. There's a distributor right there. It's got uh, double mufflers here.
got the sink hooked up. Also stuck this plastic in the window. This was over it before. So I didn't have a saw this time, but that fit pretty close and it's not going to go anywhere. Heating dinner on tube TV set. And it's warm. Can you upload this video to uh, YouTube? From here? No. Two gigabytes? I don't One. think. Oh, we can make it smaller. Got picture. Maybe if you could make it 10 megab megabytes. The off-roading seems to knock the convergence out on this Zenith set, so I brought my little pattern generator and I'm going to try and uh, do a quick convergence on this. So it looks like just the blue got screwed up. Let me see, where's the blue on this? I think that's this right here. Let's see. Now I need the other one, which is on the bottom in this TV. There we go. Yeah. Cleaned up real nice. Just uh, a few adjustments uh, on the blue static and the blue lateral. No, it says water outlet. Really? Oh, air compressor, so that must just be the drain. Oh yeah, you can see back there where it runs down. Oh yeah? Is there much of a flaw? 
Not really, no. It's like a seep. Yeah. Well, certain times of year it would be better. Yeah, if you had a filter, you could filter this and definitely live off of it. We've been making some DX contacts on 10 meter FM on this trip, which just is something that's new to me. Uh, it's kind of neat because when you do get a contact being FM, it's like you're talking to somebody who's uh, right down the street and they can be halfway around the world or on the other side of the country. Very nice signal engine, Davenport, Iowa this evening. Davenport, uh, right on the Mississippi. Okay, Osaka City, very, very good. Uh, located in Evanston, Evanston, Illinois, 12 miles north of downtown Chicago, home of the Northwestern Wildcats. On the shores of Lake Michigan, over. Chicago, Jesus. Talking here of, uh, from Angel Peak. About 9,000 feet, uh, about 30 miles uh, north west of Las Vegas. Uh, near Chicago, over. Okay, very good. Zulu. I heard you in there. I hear you're, you're portable, camping out, I assume. And the name is Scott Sierra Charlie wow. Oscar Tango Tango, located in uh, Michigan, uh, uh, Michigan, southwest Michigan. You still copy over? So, name is Tom. I'm in Tennessee. Go ahead. Five and nine here in Caracas, Venezuela. Uh, Hola. Bravo, Junior. You're 5'9, 59 to the island of Puerto Rico. My name Norbert. Norbert is a QSL. That is correct. Okay, you're 5'9. Uh, just barely, I mean, uh, almost full party. Good night signal here to the island. So my name is Stu on the island of Hawaii. Go ahead. I'm going to go, I'm going to look for another cabin which is said to be good but not sure and um, it's pretty much just off-roading it right down the side of this and it's about two miles that way. I think once I get up there I should be able to see it. I was looking at this big open pit thing and it looks like there's some kind of buildings or equipment right somewhere down here oh yeah it's some equipment like the uh, tactical obstacle course of sharp pointy Okay, here's where I came from, right over that crack. And I'm down at the open pit. You can see the bottom of it there, and this is just a, like a sheer cliff. Water down there. Okay, here's what 
I zoomed in on from up above. And there's a few feet of pipe here left over. Sixty-nine twenty-nine. Well, this says half a mile this way to the target, and I, I don't know. I got there's a mine or something there, and it looks like there's a mine up there, but I don't see where there could be a cabin unless it's over this hill. I think I'll go down to that mine. Jeez, look at the size of this grill they put over this hole. Oh, I can see a ladder down there. But that doesn't go down very far. Looks like the cat there was a cabin here. I'm still a half a mile, but it's that way up over the hill. Here's the other mine. Well, two tenths of a mile, and there's nothing there. Four hundred and eighty five feet. I thought we verified these on Google Earth satellite. I'm sure we did. Wow, look at that. Never doubt the GPS. Plenty of metal. An old school barn. Workshop. Wow, there's two cabins here. Looks like they need some work. This does have fell off. Carpeting out of Whiskey Pete's. Huh. That's a casino in Vegas, I guess, yeah. Wow, 12 volt, 50 watt, rough service, China, huh, someone, 
someone painted this guy too. That's what happens when you use a nail gun and you use too much pressure and you shoot the nails through the... Oh, it's got a cellar. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, it looks like this door fell off. We might be able to get that back on. Not visited very often. Well, to get out of here, I gotta hike up over this thing here. It's a thousand foot climb two miles and then a mile back to the cabin we're camped at. This is the spring up above the double cabins and look at the damn mosquitoes. Jeez, I'm not getting anywhere close to that. Shit. Waterfalls. I'm getting pretty close to the top, but I'm gonna have to go right up the side of this. At the top. That's where I came from, down there. And... I think I took a... The wrong route and I kind of tripled my distance here I'm up on seven miles right now and I think I really compounded my length of my adventure by taking the easier route rather than just going straight up over the hill okay here's another cabin that I haven't been to and it looks like 
where we're camped is right up there. Is that it? Oh, cut it out. Yeah, somewhere up there. Looks like I'm going to make it back just before dark. The sun is setting. Let's uh, check this out real quick. Uh, the cabin is in need of repair. Yeah, I'm still over a mile away. Oh, this is this is cute. It's got an aluminum uh, airstream dealy like soldered onto the side of the wood. Sounds interesting. It has that abandoned house vibe. I think I should get my big light out and go in. Hey, but it does have a mailbox. That's cool. I better, I better get back. I think we've lost the sun there. I don't want to be. and tube wiring.
I'm going to take off now. Okay, we made it over here, and um, I pulled those. I pulled those off, and I'll let them heat up in the sun, and then I'll put them back up. And I think we're just going to screw this door back back up. It's just I don't know what this is all about, but I think we're just going to screw it up and just screw it closed for now. Ed is getting whiskey peats all cleaned up. Um, I'll try and fix this tomorrow too. The um, plexiglass is missing off of that window so I think we're going to fix that.
Now I'm curious if this stove will work as good as the one at the other cabin. It was totally awesome. The uh, cell phone needed a little bit of um, I don't even know where I'm pointed with this but somewhere out there there's a Verizon tower I carry both AT&T as a primary and Verizon as a backup and then of course a satellite phone uh, AT&T seems to work at about 90% of these places, but occasionally you get a place where Verizon works and AT&T doesn't.